Hello, thanks for watching. As you can see, I'm uh, still at the range. It's a different range than uh, when I did my last unboxing of this. My new cross training pistol. And uh, when I did the unboxing, I said I would make a uh, comparison video, maybe. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna compare this to uh, this. This is my uh, real steel HPS, and uh, today I will see if uh, the mag fits in my mag pouches, in the holster, and uh, I'm also going to do uh, some uh, weight and uh, size comparison, and uh, I'm going to do that in uh, one of the shooting booths uh, just over here. But uh, first, The gun that we are going to test, is it compatible with uh, real steel or is it not? That's what we're going to find out today. So uh, this is the WE High Caber 5.1 and uh, first my, uh, my holsters, this is my shooting belt, this is a sort of an IPSC uh, Sport shooting built, and uh, I have here a ghost holster. It's a holster where you release it by pushing down here. See, it's stuck right now, but when you lift up there, you can remove the pistol. And the mag pouches. It works very well with the real steel, but uh, that, of course, is what it's set up for. But uh, now, let's try with the airsoft pistol. And uh, remember, this also the very first time for my for me to uh, to test this, so uh, it's gonna be real interesting to see. Yes, I think it will fit. Now I'll try to log it. And yes, it fits very well. It's not going anywhere. So, uh, yeah, you can see it can rotate, but uh, it's not falling out or anything. So, that's really nice. Let's try the magazine. And they fit very well too. You can see now it's uh, falling out of the belt, so uh, that was pretty good. Uh, so does that mean that uh, the real steel and the SF gun is 100% uh, compatible? Well, let's take it to the uh, to the table and uh, try and test it. Okay, here we are at the table, and uh, maybe you can hear. I'm stepping on a few of those old cartridges. This is a 22 uh, caliber field, so uh, or range. So uh, please excuse if uh, you hear some of these go rattling around. But uh, anyway, let's check these out um, first. Uh, I can tell you the grips on these two pistols. They feel. Uh, I'm gonna put this. Away for now, um, they feel uh, pretty similar, but the, the real steel grip is a little bit thicker, and you probably can't see it. Uh, I've brought this out to uh, to do some uh, measuring. This is uh, yeah, somewhere around the middle, about uh, 33 millimeters. And this is actually very close. 33 millimeters in the in width as well. So uh, maybe the other way around the middle here. 22, no, uh, 52 millimeters. Sorry, and. Uh, 
51, 52 millimeters. So the grip is pretty much the same. Just check the slide. About twenty four millimeters and the real steel. Twenty three millimeters. So uh, that's actually very close. But uh, I know some people are a bit scared. Can you uh, use airsoft parts in a, for real steel and vice versa? You know what? I'm pretty sure you cannot, but uh, I'm gonna find out today. So uh, let's take these these two apart. Okay, so uh, here we have it. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep uh, the real steel from the airsoft parts uh, so we don't get it all mixed up. But uh, one thing I've noticed is that the airsoft gun actually has a pretty heavy slide. Uh, that surprised me a bit, so uh, let's try to put it on the scale here. And it says 469 grams. Let's test the real steel. 578 grams. So uh, that's actually pretty close. And uh, if you take a look inside the guns, you see, uh, yeah. They look a little bit alike, but uh, they're definitely not the same. You can see uh, rails here is a little bit longer than the than the rails on the airsoft gun, and uh, on a, on the real pistol, you see the hammer will uh, you know, hit the firing pin in the back, and it will uh, set off the round. Well, in the airsoft gun, the firing pin is actually uh, down here, um, where it uh, releases all the gas on, on the magazine. So uh, let's try let's and uh, do something very different. And uh, see if uh, the slide will fit. So. Uh, just for for the safety that nothing get gets caught on each of them, I'm gonna remove the uh, the barrel. Try and take the airsoft slide and put it on the real steel frame. And you know what? It won't fit. The rails on the real steel frame is uh, way too thick to uh, to fit the the airsoft slide. So uh, that's not gonna. Yeah gonna fit and uh, let's try the airsoft frame with the real steel slide and you know what that's not gonna fit either so uh, there's not gonna be any dangerous pass swap here but uh, before we move on let's check the weight on the uh, on the the frame on the real steel 463 grams on the SF pistol 366 grams so uh, 
the whole slide thing about the 100 grams lighter on the airsoft. Then the real steel, and the same with the with the frames and the grips. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of a difference. But you know, the external size is uh, pretty much the same. Let's try and check the barrel just for for the fun of it. I'm gonna do it all the way on the outside. Um, 17 millimeters. In the airsoft version, yeah, 17. Uh, that's about a uh, half a millimeter in, in difference, so uh, that's actually pretty close. And uh, that surprised me a bit actually because uh, I didn't really expect them to be that close in the uh, in the uh, dimensions. But uh, I'm gonna assemble these two guns now. We're gonna test the the overall weight for each of the pistols and uh, then I'm gonna take them to the range and uh, we're gonna see how uh, how they shoot because uh, we can't do a real airsoft versus real steel comparison without shooting uh, the pistols as well. So uh, let's do that. One kilo, 147. 1 kilo 182 grams so the airsoft gun is actually heavier than the real steel gun by about uh, 40 grams or so and uh, of course with loaded magazines this would be a lot heavier but uh, to be honest <laughs> airsoft gun heavier than the real steel I did not expect that but uh, let's take it to the range and uh, do a bit of shooting with them both. Okay, as I promised, I will shoot uh, with uh, both the airsoft gun and the real steel a little bit. And uh, please remember, I'm an experienced shooter and uh, this is a controlled environment, so uh, don't do this at home. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, make a good video. And also, we need eye pro, ear pro, so. Uh, Let's just get to it. I'm gonna start out with the airsoft gun. And uh, then a couple of shots with the 9mm. And uh, before we uh, move on, let's just check the uh, the target and uh, see the difference. The target, as you can see, the big holes in the middle, that's the nine, small holes, the ass of BBs. Uh, that's it for now, and my airsoft versus real steel comparison video. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you like, I probably will do more uh, real steel shooting videos. But uh, for now, thanks for watching and uh, until I see you next time, remember to have some fun, enjoy your day and uh, I'll see you in the next video.